Tiny major hurricane Felicia still remains very powerful today after peaking in the last few hours, probably as a high-end Category 4 hurricane, although our team, some of which suggesting Category 5 intensity for this storm in the last few hours. Right now, we're putting it at 150 miles per hour and an estimated central pressure of 941 millibars and looking very good on that satellite imagery loop. Moving west at 8 miles per hour at 265 degrees. This as of 9 a.m. Pacific time this July 17th. There it is right now located out in the open ocean and look at that tiny wind field 40 miles in all directions for tropical storm force impacts which is microscopic for a storm of this strength particularly currently 693 miles from Isla Clarion moving away 936 from Socorro 2044 from Hawaii from Hilo the next point of uh, the storm's track which it won't strike 2143 from Kahului and 2235 from Honolulu, basically very far away from any landmass right now. Um, but and, and no warnings expected over the next five days as the storm should pass uh, quite clearly to the south of the Hawaiian Islands as a remnant low. Well here it is right now, National Hurricane Center running with 145 miles per hour winds, uh, Force 13 um, analysis right now by our analysis team running at 160 miles per hour and the ADT values much lower, 130 miles per hour but not resolving the storm properly due to its small size. National Hurricane Center's forecast cone shows this major hurricane for the next 18 hours at least before gradually weakening and it will survive as a depression through next Thursday. That's the five day point on the National Hurricane Center's cone. And again, you can see how small the wind field is in that orange area. You can't even see the hurricane force wind field on that graphic. It would be a small red zone around the X. So that goes to show the track of the storm and no land areas in its sights. Here's the model run right now, the GFS. It's the small one on the left hand side, which obviously the GFS initiated way too weak. Um, and you can see the development of that next tropical cyclone behind it, much larger. That could become a hurricane according to the GFS there, um, but it will be a very broad system. Here's the rainfall look outlook for, the si for uh, currently uh, Felicia. You can see there the rainfall starts to decrease as it weakens, of course, um, and towards the Hawaiian Islands, no effects in terms of rainfall impacts. And then you can see the trail of the next storm, 7E, which has just been designated behind it. Uh, will become the next probably next the name storm so right now sea surface temperatures have lingered on uh, fairly warm for the storm in the last 12 to 24 hours has held on uh, to around 26 27 maybe 28 degrees celsius you can see there though not far away from where those sea surface temperatures will drop off substantially so there it is right now uh, in terms of the model comparisons uh, pretty much all of the models I think uh, without exception saying that it's now peaked. Uh, wind shear will remain low for a good 24 hours so the weakening uh, rate will probably be slow. Sea surface temperatures there they are 27 now starting to drop more uh, relative humidity reaching a little plateau down there around the 50% mark. The track forecast consensus is a pretty clear one. Satellite imagery in the last few hours as just as daylight uh, falls upon these two systems and already you can see the discrepancy between the sizes of these two things. Of course Felicia just on the very edge of the daylight spectrum as we get the uh, first visible images but looking very good. There's the infrared with the uh, dry air, it's fighting that as well to its west. Um, large amounts of dry air to its west that's still just holding off right now but that will probably become more of a problem as time goes on. We'll have more updates on this system and our 24 hour streaming service on the Force 13 YouTube channel.